How do inmates get so jacked, right? Well, this is my personal experience and what I learned uh, in bodybuilding and training in the prison system. So, day one, I'm, I'm pretty intimidated because everybody looks like bodybuilders. And uh, honestly, I wanted to too. So I started working out going through the motions along with these other guys. And I'm watching these other guys, right? And to me, not knowing any better, I think it's comical the way they're working out. They're all doing these little half rep push-ups. And I'm thinking, you know, wow, these guys ain't doing nothing. At least I'm going through the full range of motion, right? So, months go by, I'm not getting any progress as I'm watching these guys make gains. And that was very discouraging and it made me think, what are these guys doing different? I mean, what they're doing looks comical. I'm doing it right, I have to be. Cause I'm going through the full range of motion. But I said, you know what? I'm not making any gains and I got time. I'll give that a shot. So I'm, I'm doing these half rep partial push-ups. And, and all of a sudden, I'm getting huge gains. I was like, I, I totally changed my physique in like two months. And uh, it really made me look within and dissect this. Why does this work? And what I'm doing is, instead of going through the full range of motion, passing the job from one muscle group to the next to complete the motion, what I'm doing here is just keeping the tension on one targeted muscle group at a time. Breaking down that full range of motion rep into two uh, separately trainable reps. I could train this side or I could train the long end. It just all depends on what my target area that is I'm trying to train at the time. Okay, now, these partial rep range of motion reps help develop the mind to muscle concentration pathways. How does that happen? Well, you can feel it more. You can actually feel it. So demonstrating with just a rubber band, okay? Let's say I want to work on the top of my chest a little bit, right? So I'm feeling it. I'm just feeling where that maximum flexation is of the targeted area that I want to work towards my personal goal. Um, and I'm just keeping within that rep range before it lets go. It passes the job on the, another muscle group, right? So it's just, it all added up to more time under tension. And I want to tell you, you can do this with anything. If you watch any of the great bodybuilders out there in the world, so they're all doing it. Look at the Sam Salk. He's amazing, right? He's a phenomenon because he looks sloppy, but he's achieving a lot of growth. Well, look at this. He's keeping the tension on one muscle group at a time, just working with the, the maximum weight on just that one muscle group. He's not passing the job on the next muscle group. His, his goal is to target that one muscle group before passing the job on to the next. Listen, he's not the only one doing it. Look at them all. They're all doing this method. Um, I mean, 90% of them are. All right, just start watching all the old videos. It's pretty cool to see.